Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so let's read the problem first. We'll explain what this problem is saying in general, and then we'll talk about some specific strategies. If Lila completes the square for f of x, right here, f of x equals x squared minus 12x plus 7, in order to find the minimum, she must write f of x in the general form, f of x equals oops, x minus a squared plus b. What is the value of a for f of x? So let me translate what this question is saying. It's saying that we want to find the minimum of this function. We want to find the minimum. And then we want to see um, if you know what that minimum is, what value will A represent in the minimum? And you might recognize that this, if you've seen it before, is in a type of form called vertex form. And actually, in general, I've seen vertex form written as f of x equals A times x minus h squared plus k. And although it looks a little overwhelming, lots of symbols here, basically A affects the direction of your parabola. If A is greater than zero, then what you have is a smile and a parabola where you have a minimum at the bottom. And if A is less than zero, you have um, a frown where you have a maximum. All right, so A tells you the general direction of the parabola. And the vertex in this form, it's called vertex form because you can tell what the vertex is. It shows you. The vertex is always equal to H, K. So as an example, uh, let's say that I had, <clears throat> let's say that I had an equation that says uh, three times x minus two squared plus four. I know that this is a smile, positive a value. I also know the vertex is two comma four, right? Because we take the k value directly, that's this value right here, and uh, the subtraction sign, right? You see the minus h, so we're subtracting h. So h is 2, we're subtracting 2. Um, in a different example, if you saw 3 times x plus 2 squared plus 4, that would mean that the vertex is negative 2, 4. You would, in order to get a plus 2 here, you have to subtract a negative. So vertex form shows you the vertex, and we want to know, essentially, in this case, what is h. So let's find the minimum, and then that value will be um, the h value. Now, here, you notice that Lila completes the square. That's one way of doing this problem. You could complete the square to find the minimum, but I'm going to do a little work around here. Uh, the, two, the two ways I would uh, find the minimum uh, by hand, I would use the formula negative b over 2a. That gives me the x value of the minimum, which inc incidentally is also the value we're looking for. Um, so we'll do that first. Negative b. b is the value, the coefficient of x. So negative b is just negative, negative 12 or 12 divided by 2a, and a is the coefficient of x squared. So it's 2 times 1, or 2. So this equals 6. So the, the x value, our minimum, is actually just 6. That's our answer. So it's, it would be x minus 6 right here. All right, so, um, and if we plug in 6 to our equation, if we find f of 6, I'll do that real quick, if we find f of 6, we can find the y value, the of the minimum, which is really b, or k, right? That's the y value of the vertex. So f of 6 would be 36, 6 squared, minus 72, right? 12 times 6, plus 7. So that's negative 36 plus 7, which is negative 29. So if we had to find the, the, our b value, or the height, you would take the x value of the minimum and plug it in. If you don't like that strategy, an alternative, or if you just want an alternate strategy, I think it's good to always have more strategies. Uh, we're going to first turn our stat plots off. You might have those on, okay? And we'll enter our equation in. Press the y equals button and x squared minus 12x plus seven. And we graph it. And if we can't see it, we here mine's cut off. I'm going to just do um, I'm going to zoom standard. See if that helps us. Still doesn't help us because we know the minimum is way down. So you can zoom out and play around with it. I'm going to just adjust our window. Um, I'm going to adjust the heights to go from. And you can just try different numbers. I'll do negative 30 
to positive 30, if we go back to our graph, we see the parabolas in our window, the minimum's over here. So to find that minimum, we hit second trace, and we want to find a minimum, that's choice three, and then we just pick a point to the left of our minimum, hit enter, and then a point to the right of our minimum, hit enter again, and then enter to guess, and our minimum, you can see it's estimating because my the choices I made were off, it's 5.53 and negative 28, which is close to six. We can get a more precise value by doing the same process, but picking points closer to the actual minimum. So here, right, this point, hit enter, and then go to the right and hit enter again. I'm trying to make it as symmetrical around the minimum as possible to get a better result. And then guess we get a much better result, 6.0024, which is really 6 and negative 29. All right, hope that helped.